The first Trenton Punk Rock flea market was in 2013, but it's already been named one of the best flea markets in America by the Huffington Post. It takes place three times a year, spring, summer, and fall, and it just keeps growing bigger. We stopped by on a chilly April Sunday to check out the food trucks, see what was for sale, and to meet the man who started it all. Uh, I'm a punk rocker by nature. Uh, you know, I grew up on punk music. The DIY and punk rock really go hand in hand. Uh, so it was something that we thought would work really well together and uh, obviously it came together pretty well. The whole thing that we kind of stick to is, uh, you know, the DIY ethic, the do-it-yourself ethic. Uh, that's kind of what the, that's essentially what the Trenton Punk Rock Flea Market is built upon. Uh, we work with crafters and makers and artists who are making things with their hands. They're doing it themselves. You will not find mass-produced things here. You will not find mass-produced jewelry or mass-produced clothing. Uh, you'll find plenty of clothing, but it'll all be hand silkscreen. You'll find plenty of jewelry, but it'll be made by hand. Uh, you'll find plenty of artwork for your walls, but it'll all be made by hand by the artist. You can actually buy it from that artist. So, uh, you know, we don't have a whole lot of criteria here for the, uh, for the punk rock flea market, but the one thing that we stick with every single time is that you have to be a, a, a crafter, a maker, an artist, and you have to be making it yourself. So my name is Nicole Krasicki. Uh, my business is called Rainbow Alternative. My girlfriend is Nicole Wigand, uh, and her business name is Night Out Designs. We've been together. We're here at the Trenton Punk Rock Flea Market. This is our favorite event to vend ever. Uh, I'm actually from Ewing, Trenton area, uh, but we live in Philly now. So super excited to have some hometown love here. I'm a stencil artist, so I hand cut stencils and use spray paint. Um, I started doing t-shirts, but now I moved on to like skate decks, wall art. It's pop art, considered pop art. And then my girlfriend, uh, she does kitschy like pop culture jewelry and housewares. Honestly, this is, like I said, we do a lot of events around the area. This crowd is the best because they come and they're excited. Uh, they like, they like things. You know what I mean? They're kind of like, kind of like me, kind of like we are. Like we like, we like what we like, and we want to buy stuff for it. You know? So I'm, I'm telling you, if there was something like this here when I, because I grew up like literally like five, ten minutes away. If there was something like this here when I was a teenager, I would have been here every year, every time, all day. You know, I think it's fantastic. C.J. Harker makes one-of-a-kind photographs in types. It's a process dating back to the Civil War. So these are actual tin types. Uh, these are from previous flea markets and art all night and other events. Uh, so what it is is a piece of aluminum painted black and then a photograph is printed directly on it out of the camera. And so they're one-of-a-kind in-camera positives. So it's not a negative that you can make a bunch of prints from. This is the one and only. These things last for two, three hundred years, and they look exactly like they do now. Like, they don't deteriorate, they don't fade. I come to the Trenton Punk Rock Flea Market because this is my hometown, and I'm great friends with Joe, who runs it. It's a great crowd. I know this thing's going to kick ass every time. CJ and I have bumped into each other uh, constantly over the past maybe three years now. I've always seen him. I've always wanted to get a tintype, but I've never got the chance. So today was my opportunity to get a tintype. Okay, here we go. Got it. Basically, we're an upcycle company. We take recycled license plates and we make products out of them. We include keychains, we do customized letters, uh, signs, uh, we do switch plate covers. And we're also advancing into a clothing line. We've been with Joe since he started, since his inception. And every year it brings out um, incredibly forward-looking artists that upcycle and recycle material and make art out of them. I mean, the amount of people, like, the amount of traffic that's in here. Trend, like, this is, this is beautiful, man. Phage Coalition is a 501c3 nonprofit. We do inner city beautification projects. So we go into very hard hit neighborhoods that are depressed socially, economically, spiritually. And we do art projects. We put our work on the abandoned buildings. We do community gardens. Like we're more community activists in a sense where we want to bring people together through art. This is a celebration of art. Most of you know, these are all like artists out here, but that are making money from their work. Man, come on. Like who wouldn't support that? You know what I'm saying? Like. Yes, it works, you know, because you go through a lot as an artist, and this is dope. This is dope. So you gotta support it, man. I'm happy as hell to be here. Yeah. 
it's a lot of give and take here in Trenton. We're a small art scene, but we're, we're strong and you know, we work together. And I think uh, events like the Trenton Punk Rock Flea Market or Art All Night are a real testament to that. The Trenton Punk Rock Flea Market takes place three times a year in the Roebling Wireworks in Trenton. Art All Night takes place in the same building every June. The New Jersey State Council on the Arts, encouraging excellence and public engagement in the arts since 1966, is proud to co-produce State of the Arts with Stockton University, New Jersey's distinctive public university. Additional support is provided by the Geraldine R. Dodge Foundation.